What's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing an app review on an application called Food Finder. A little background on the application and what it's good for. Uh, so story time. About a week ago we are driving home from our vacation in South Carolina. So we're on the middle of 95 which is a highway, interstate highway and we're like, you know what, we're hungry, let's eat lunch. And you know when you get off the highway, there's all those shitty fast food restaurants that just make you feel like crap after you eat them. So we didn't really want McDonald's, so my brother suggests Chick-fil-A. And you know what, they have, they have some pretty good um, chicken wraps. So I'm like, you know what, let's do it. Problem is, we didn't know where the Chick-fil-A was because we're on the highway. So I look for an app that finds restaurants for you. And lo and behold, there is this brilliant app, which I'm absolutely in love with, and I've used it at least 10 times in the last week. And it's called Food Finder. So... I'm going to show you guys uh, uh, how to use Food Finder and show you just how practical it can be if, you, if, like me, you eat out a lot. So I'm going to click on Market, go up into the search bar, and we're going to type in Food Finder. Give me a second here. It's hard to type and hold the camera. Food Finder. There we go. Click Search. And it's that first guy right there. You can see I already have it installed, but of course you guys would install it. The uh, the little picture is the blue fork and the red knife making an X with a yellow background, and it is by Michael Quatch. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name, Michael. You can open it up and read about it, um, but it's a very good app, high rating, and all the comments are pretty good. So after you install that, I'm going to go back to my home screen right here. I made an icon for it, or a quick icon for it so it's in the top left right there I'm gonna open it up and sorry this is on the last screen I was on so here's what we got here it opens up in alphabetical order restaurants by the type of food they serve and you'd be surprised how many different categories there are like you can see as I'm scrolling down there are tons tons and this is great because even if you pick what would seemingly be an odd uh, food like let's see Cuban restaurants and I'm in outside of Philadelphia right now tons tons and it's great. It tells you how far you are from them and it tells you their address. So, back to story time. I said we wanted to go to Chick-fil-A. So what I did was I scrolled down and I clicked on Chicken Restaurants, which I'll do again. And you can see right there, there's a Chick-fil-A. So it says, tells me the address and tells me how far away from it I am. So let's say I wanted to go here. I'm going to click on Chick-fil-A and this is going to pop up. The address up top, which you can see right there, and its phone number. You can see on Google Maps where it is located. And then you have some options at the bottom. You have all the way on the right would be if you wanted to call the restaurant. And all the way on the left, sorry, screen just went black. Gonna unlock it real fast. And all the way on the left is what I'm going to show you guys right now. So let's say you're driving and you get off 95 like I was at the time. Or actually, from right now, it wouldn't be off 95. But let's say wherever you're driving, you want to go to here. But you don't know how to get there, so you want to use the navigation on your phone. You click the green up arrow that's on this app. And what it's going to do is it's going to say complete action using and you're going to click maps. So now it opens up maps and it says, gives you directions and you have the option to navigate using GPS. So I'm going to click navigate. And then Google Maps opens up, your navigation opens up. It gets you your driving directions and Head there's... northeast on Ponderosa Drive toward Mayflower Circle. There you go. Your GPS opens and it will take you to the restaurant. So really this is a combination of using your Food Finder app and your navigation app, but because of the way that the developer has built the Food Finder app, it takes you right to your navigation, making this app brilliant. And you know what, um, I can see myself using this app a lot down the line, because you know, you never know where you're going to be with someone and you can't decide where to go to dinner. So this is just a great, great app that I recommend that everybody gets. Um, if you guys have any questions about this app or you would like to learn more about it or request another tutorial, please email us at twoguysonedroid at gmail.com. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and show your support by checking out our blog.